What's up, positive people? You got Dana here, and I am headed to get my first dose of the COVID 19 vaccine. I qualify as a healthcare worker, so I'm just waiting for my Uber to come and pick me up. I'm obviously a little nervous and anxious about it as far as side effects and everything go. Everybody at my work obviously is getting it because we work with the public, so. Yeah, I figured I'd take y'all along for the ride. It's a little different. Um, obviously, I'm trying to be a little discreet about showing y'all my office building. But yeah, uh, I'm headed down to the Seattle Infectious Disease Clinic to get it done. Uh, that was the place I was able to get an appointment today. I've been trying to get an appointment since, whew, since like last week. They have me on a lot of different waiting lists and it it's just honestly like luck of the draw in the same way that like it was to get my first COVID screening. So I'm not gonna lie, I'm a little anxious. I have this like nervous tick where I get coughing fits when um, I'm nervous or scared. Sometimes it happens like when I'm driving with people as y'all know I got rear ended, what was it like two summers ago? And ever since then I've been really anxious riding with people and just being in the car and stuff but uh yeah in a little bit i will be down off olive way getting my first prick and then hopefully in three weeks they will give me a call to schedule my second and then yeah finally ditched my last weave and we're doing something a little shorter since it's a little warmer out but uh yeah we'll see how this goes <laughs> till later just got to the building and these elevators are sketchy and I just want to get in here. Let's do this. Let's go. And apparently I'm at the wrong place. So back to the elevator I go. Other than that, uh, <laughs> it's okay. You're really good. <laughs> uh, I'm going to send you to the uh, other side of this table here, uh -huh. and the young woman there is going to help you schedule your second dose. Okay. And then after that, you're going to be out for about 15 minutes and I'll be there. So. Thank you. Uh, of course. Well, that was Got it done and I'm headed home. Almost end of the work week. I've been at my new place like two and a half weeks now. So I'm just gonna show you my side of the room, but this is like my setup right now. It still needs a lot of work. Still all these containers that I need to go through. There's like all this sentimental stuff that I need to like go through. Um, but yeah. I got my little desk over here. You can see my YouTube camera right there. Obviously it's carpeted. It's finally starting to feel homey. All the boxes are unpacked. I have this small corner of crap that I have to find a place for because we ridded ourselves of a lot of hand-me-down furniture. And I gave Marley some stuff too to kind of flush out her area. Today, I'm supposed to be getting this like foldable table from Amazon. I'm hoping that it works out. It's supposed to be a bit more minimal. My only concern is that, you know, it's like cheap Amazon table. It might be chintzy. The shelf came yesterday. I had this wardrobe at my last apartment, actually. And then I got this desk recently. And then this was actually a gift from a friend. So, yeah, we're getting there slowly but surely. And then, obviously, I'm not the only person in this room so there's a whole other side of the room but new place is cool carpet i'm not crazy about but i'll be honest it's a lot easier on the feet so that's cool you know i've cooked my first meals there and everything the kitchen is cool i'm still getting used to the counter space because it's a good amount of counter space but i also have a microwave that's really large and right now I'm kind of debating whether or not I need to see about getting a smaller 
microwave and then potentially selling the microwave that I have now to regain some of the counter space back because otherwise it, it's really fun you know cooking in that kitchen with all the counter space that I have and kind of how everything's set fridge bam very nice floor tiles and that's it I can go ahead and tell you right now, I do not miss my old apartment at all. It's it's weird. The first couple nights that I slept there, I had a really tough time sleeping. I saw it during my tour. It's standard fare. It's, you know, nothing fancy smancy. And again, this place was a major upgrade. More than anything else, I moved because I'd been at my place for five years and my landlord wasn't maintaining anything. It was getting to the point where, and I noticed that's something that landlords do when they want you to move, they don't fix anything. So I was coming out of pocket for stuff. And when you're renting, you don't wanna come out of pocket. You know, it's understandable to come out of pocket for like a broken light bulb or something like that. But I painted in there, I replaced, you know, like the toilet seat, all this stuff that like I shouldn't have had to, that comes with like maintaining a place. It didn't matter how much I cleaned it because it just had a layer of dench in it that I just could not <laughs> do anything about. So I'm happy to be out of there. The walls were tan in the last place. The walls are white in this place. So the place just feels a lot brighter. There's also a lot more daylight coming into the apartment. And just like last time, this move was like abrupt and random. You know, I'd had it in my mind for a while. Somebody in the comment section even said like, yo, I thought you were like happy where you were and no, 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 no. I never said I was happy. If you listen to the videos, you can hear that like, I'm just making the best of the situation. And that's, that's my attitude overall. Like, I have done the alternative. Anything that's well within my control at this point, I go, I'm gonna do what I need to do to just get myself out of the situation, especially if in the long term, it, you know, it's gonna benefit me. So for example, but the longest time I was able to justify staying in my apartment because it was the cheapest apartment in the area. Once that stopped being the reason why, once there were other options, and listen here, I, I never said that I wanted to like move into something dope looking over the city with like high voltage ceilings. I just wanted my standard of living to be standard and it was starting to become substandard <laughs> and my rent was not staying put it was going up the only reason why i believe uh over this last year my rent hasn't gone up is because of covid and just keeping that in mind just knowing that like hey once this covid stuff is over he's probably gonna read me for rent i didn't want to stay knowing full well in my apartment every time i'm coming home from my job where i'm working my honest aid where i'm putting in work it, it just i my my work my mindset wasn't reflecting my domicile straight up and down i'm not a dirty individual i'm not a nasty individual there's stuff you can do i bought um a carpet cleaner which i'm happy that i did buy because my new place is more carpeted but you know i did i did a lot I tried, you know, I definitely did a lot to try and make the best of the situation. And I look forward to showing y'all the new place really soon. I just needed the time to get acclimated to my new home. I hope y'all like my new weave. <laughs> I'm gonna put it in a pony for work, but she's cute. Got her off Amazon too. And honey, Amazon, the, the lux may, you know, the, the odds may, you know, vary. Results may vary rather with Amazon, so. Anyway, I gotta go into work. Till later. Peace. Positive peace.